I am here live at the HILI conference, Business Expo, with, yeah. with the board chair, Rich Newman, yeah. who's from H2M Architects and Engineers. So, so welcome today, and what a fabulous turnout. Uh, the turnout's been great, and I, I think everybody has this pent-up demand to get out and mingle and network and meet people. The fact that we were virtual last year and now we're live this year, and it's a little scaled back. It's usually a, 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 an event, maybe five times as big, but I think it's it's a huge success it's today. It's huge. So I mean, it's I great. couldn't find a parking spot. So. <laughs> it's, it's, it's been awesome so far. Yeah. So what are some of the things that, that we're looking forward to now at, towards the end of this year and into next year? Well, I, I think a lot of the, the big benefits of talking about HILI, we're a leading voice for business advocacy and um, looking at doing the things we can do in order to help drive our economy regionally on the island and there's uh, not only a lot of the development that's happening, but um, we have a major initiative to help you know, kind of drive the, um, the value of Warner MacArthur Airport in Islip and we're partnering with town of Islip to help them understand the, the opportunities from the business community to help you know generate some revenue for the airport, really help the airport grow. Uh, so there, there's all sorts of initiatives happening right now in a bunch of different ways to help drive our economy. Yeah, that's really fantastic. And I know politics oftentimes has a lot to do with how these deals are made. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I think one of the comments that Mitch Bally made today in the, in the breakfast event was um, elected officials on Long Island are doing a tremendous job in partnering with business and private sector where, you know, if you think about what happens at the federal level and how it's so frustrating because elected officials can't get out of the way, locally on Long Island, in Nassau and Suffolk County, it's the exact opposite. The partnership between business and government is so beneficial today that things that maybe wouldn't happen a decade or two decades ago, today, are all happening on Long Island. So I think that uh, the time could be better right now for us to have private sector and government work together. No, that's a great feedback to hear. What do you think that's going to be How come you guys don't have to work together? Well, I, I think Long Island, it's interesting, right? You know, we, we, we resisted change for so long. We resisted growth. We wanted to be our single family home, our bedroom, our suburbia, but suburbia gets passed by. And as, you know, other regions in the country continuing to grow, our young professionals are leaving, our retirees are leaving, they're not staying on Long Island, they can't afford to live here. So we can't continue to resist what the world is doing. So, you know, finally, we all kind of woke up together and said, if we don't commit ourselves to transforming Long Island, we're going to continue to suffer and shrink and lose people. So um, the signs are great today. I think it took us way too long to get to this point, but at least we're here right now. So I think the future is, is very bright for us in this region. Good. This is really a hopeful, positive conversation. It's yeah. really fantastic. And yeah. I'm proud to be. I'm a Long Islander myself. Me too. Nextville. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So we were almost neighbors. Yeah. We were close. Yeah. Neighbor, neighboring train stops. Neighboring train stops, yeah. for sure. Yeah. Did you still live there? I live now out in Smithton. Okay. Yes. You were from Nassau to Suffolk. I'm from Nassau. When I got married, my wife was from Suffolk. Okay. So when I even raised the thought of living in Nassau, she was like, no way. You're going to live in Suffolk, so I live in Suffolk County. I know. You hear people say, like, I'm from Nassau. She's from Suffolk. So we compromise, and I live in Suffolk. That's how it works. That's how it works. <laughs> Okay, it's been great to get to know you, and, and thanks for having us here today at the HILI conference. No, we're thrilled you're here, and we're thrilled that uh, the turnout and everybody who figured out, you know what, it is okay to come out and yeah, sit in person, yeah. and um, I'm just thrilled that everyone's here, and I hope everybody has a great time today. Awesome. Thank you.